All right, Chaka, there's a lot of hype right now around Santiago Jimenez. Do you think he's overhyped or do you think he's worthy? Is he the type of player that we're going to see in a few years banging home goals in the Premier League or at the top of La Liga? I think absolutely worthy. What, 22 years old? Kind of give him, give him his, his record. I, I, I think he, he's a player that a lot of, as you mentioned, a lot of clubs are already keeping an eye on. And, and I think rightly so. Listen, goal scorers are not cheap. They don't come... They don't come along that, that often when you have a young player with this kind of a record. And, and listen, I, I think the challenge has always been, given the openness of the Eredivisie, how do strikers move from, from, from the Netherlands to elsewhere in Europe where they don't have that kind of space to, to, to operate in? And, and like anything else, it's a little bit of a gamble. But you, your, your numbers speak for themselves. Uh, Jimenez has got good numbers. I think there'll be a queue of, of, of clubs who, who will want his signature. All right. Uh, hype by who? If we're talking about North America, it's because you, coming out of Mexico with the strikers they've had historically, you think these numbers, you're thinking Hugo Sanchez, you're thinking uh, Manchester United with Chicharito Hernandez, maybe to an extent there. But Shaka's right. Look at the numbers. If his name was Santino and he was Brazilian, <laughs> he'd be a $100 million player already. How much did Anthony go to Manchester United for? Oh, what were his numbers when he was in the Eredivisie? It's a reality today, Seb. I think he's hyped adequately enough for the rest of the world. In mm. our bubble, mm. and you know how this goes, they yeah. love to prop him up, but as soon as they prop him up, they're looking for reasons to shoot him down. So hyped adequately enough outside of the rest of the world. Shaka, quickly, is the next move to like a big six team in England or Real Madrid or Barcelona, or is he at the level where he needs an intermediate stop between that? I think an intermediate stop. I, I think that that next step from from uh, from the Eredivisie to, to a big to a big club to a, one of the big European giants is, is a difficult one, and I, I think he's got time on his side. I still think he's a little bit raw. He has a little bit of, of growing to do yet. Um, I, I, I don't think it'd be a waste to, to go to a smaller a, a smaller European club, one that can also give him a, a platform. The first that comes to mind is, is some place like Spurs, who need a striker. Hugh Minson has been doing a great job, but he's not an out-and-out -out striker. Um, so a, a stop like that, and you put up numbers mm -hmm. at, at a place and with, with that kind of a platform, with that kind of a spotlight on you, then um, the, the, the 100 million, which, which isn't a fair price for Anthony, by the way, the 100 million is, 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 a, is a, a, a snippet, an easy decision for any, for any of those big clubs. Shots fired by, by Shaka right now. You, you calling Spurs a small club? That, <laughs> Intermediary that's, that's stop. <laughs> that's what I... That's, <laughs> it, it, it does, I know, I don't, you don't need an answer. You don't need smaller an answer. than Real Madrid. <laughs> smaller than Real okay. Madrid. And really quickly, I'm just curious from Shaka. Would you take Would you take Santi Jimenez or Jonathan David today? They're rough, They're around the same age. Mm. Um, I'd probably take Jimenez. Look at that, Shaka Hislop, decisive. Santi Jimenez to Spurs. You heard it here first on Football Americas from our good friend Shaka Hislop. <laughs>